This is Gene Key, KDD News. Amarillo.com reports a Kansas man was charged Monday with possession of a controlled substance after a DPS officer found about three pounds of methamphetamine in his pickup. Jesus Iberia Diaz, 38, of Wichita, Kansas, was taken to the Carson County Jail. According to a DPS trooper, Iberia Diaz, who was eastbound on Interstate 40, was pulled over about 6.50 p.m., five miles east of Conway. The trooper reported searching the Ford F-150, finding about three pounds of methamphetamine worth about $114,000 in a hidden compartment built into the frame rail. Iberia Diaz was traveling from Phoenix to Wichita, Kansas. The Moore County Landfill is now scheduled for a May opening. Initially, the date to open the new landfill located east of Dumas on Keith Road was scheduled to open in mid-March. However, the date has been extended to May 19th, according to Public Works Director Deck Shaver. The information came during the City Commissioner's meeting on Monday night. Also, according to Shaver, the City of Dumas has filed for an acceptance request with the Texas Commission of Environmental Quality, scheduled to take place on April the 2nd. Road and Street Supervisor Jose Escamela reported that the road to the landfill was nearing completion. The commissioners commented on the fact that the city and the county offices are working together to make all of this happen. A construction project will reduce eastbound Highway 60 traffic to one lane from the Hereford city limits to the Devsmith County line through late summer. Crews will be milling and repaving both eastbound lanes, according to information from the Texas Department of Transportation Amarillo District Office. During construction, eastbound traffic will be reduced to one lane a change implemented in five-mile stretches. The work will not affect westbound traffic. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD News.